How to get arrested twice in one night without breaking any laws. This is a true story. You won't want to miss the ending. After work, per usual, I was pretty hungry. So I was driving to Wendy's to get some faux -fo faux back when they still had them. I noticed a cop car in a nearby parking lot. I decided to go see what my public servant was up to, but for some reason the deputy I encountered acted like a real weenie. As soon as I approached this clown, he was just so rude to me. I'm in public, I'm good. This a crack? No introduction or hi, what can I do for ya? Who raised this guy? So anyways, at that point, I wanted to identify this officer, which presented a problem because contrary to standard policy, after making contact with me, the guy refused to identify as a cop or by his name. Super unprofessional. I'm seeing. Who are you? Okay, so a tow truck guy shows up. No big deal. I figure let me just go at least zoom in on this fool's name tag. Now I'm a complaint. That's when stuff went left. Check it out. Go back to your car. Can I get your name go for back a complaint? Your car. Can I get your name not, for a go complaint? Go back to your car. Who are you? What's your name? Go back to your car. I'm telling you right I now. I want to write a complaint. What's Man, your right name? No complaints here. Just go back to you're, your car. You're a fucking weenie, bro. Go back to your car. What's you're your name? You're cussing at me in public. Just order yeah, me bitch. You're going to go to jail. Go to jail. That's what you're going to do. That's yeah. what you're going to do. Put your hands on the car. Put your hands on the car. <laughs> oh, you fucked up. No, you, no, that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, you fucked up you bad. You're cussing in public like that. Yeah. Man, you're an idiot. You got ID on you? You have ID on you? Supervisor. Okay, you got a supervisor coming right now. Yeah, call him. You wanna call me a fucking idiot, huh? You are a fucking idiot. Okay, good. Yeah. Say it again, dude. You, I love how you, you just come out idiot. here. Okay, yeah. that's good to know. Yeah, bitch with a gun. They stuffed me in another cop, Deputy Reed's car, and when I questioned him, he turned out to be even dumber and scarier than the guy that arrested me to begin with. that cop was in the right absolutely like i said i would have took that as a gun like i said that's two in the chest all day long all day long and i've been doing this a long time a long time just looking at your youtube you got to be careful while you're recording other people too. You can't be zooming in on drivers and other vehicles and anything like that. That's a violation of their privacy. How do you figure? They're inside their vehicle. In public. It doesn't matter. It's visible from public. It doesn't matter. I do. Yeah, let me call you back in a bit. You think those people want their picture posted all over YouTube? Are you a feelings cop? Am I a feelings cop? Do you enforce feelings? No, I don't force feelings. Oh, you're gonna switch it around. I see what you're doing. I believe in karma. What goes around comes around. Right? I could have forgave Tillman because I know his feelings were hurt. But Deputy Reed more or less threatened my life. Then he tried to take me to jail again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did that slip up? Yeah, that was in this hip. Yeah, that slipped up. He going to jail. Yeah. Is it spring loaded? 
He's going to jail. Yeah. Those are illegal. You're under arrest. No, you have possession of a spring loaded knife. Know the laws. You got the laws, right? You know the laws, right? Okay. Still with no crime being committed. Yeah, he tries to say my pocket knife was illegal. I eventually got released and spent over a year in court fighting a disorderly yeah. charge. At first, the prosecutor thought she could criminalize my mask, which is really funny because back when I was in court for, for the garbage incident, Shut up. Get away from Shut my car. Fuck up. Get away from my You're car. You're a fucking idiot. Okay? Do something. Get bitch. away from my car. What's up? All right. What you gonna do? Yeah. Or what? Yeah. Walk. Don't do that. I'll walk no, wherever I want. How about that? Jordan? They made a huge deal and forced me to wear a mask in the courtroom against my will. I almost did 30 days for contempt and would have if the dummy that wrote the ticket did it right. The cops that arrested me were wearing masks and this happened in the January cold during a mask mandate wall. Yeah, so anyways, they strung it along up until April 27th, 2023, when I was scheduled for a bench trial. I received a call the day prior informing me that Deputy Tillman no longer works for the Macomb County Sheriff's Office and the next day the charge was finally dismissed. Mind you, I was offered several deals, and who knows how long Tillman's been gone. Yeah, anyways, they call it Make 'em Up County, and this was a up close look at why. Breach the Macomb County Sheriff's Office. Run that, Sergeant Amy. Sergeant Amy? Yeah. How you doing, Sergeant? This is James. Yeah, how are you? Good. I was looking for Mark Tillman, just trying to uh, check on his welfare real quick. Um, okay, and why is why do you need to check on his welfare? Is there something wrong? Uh, it looks, yeah, I know he was having some issues. Uh, just want to make sure he was okay, doing all right. I'm not aware of any issues or problems or concerns or anything. Yeah, I, I had just seen something where uh, he looked like he was deeply hurt, disturbed, and, and bothered by somebody cussing. And so I just wanted to see if he was still melting down or... Or if you'd come back to his senses, or... Okay, I mean, if you have an issue or a problem, it sounds like you have some kind of issue. So, if you wanted to come in and make a complaint, you're well more than welcome to do that. No, 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 no. I just saw that it appeared that he... I, I don't have any problem with... Uh, I would be upset, too, if somebody called me names. So, I was just trying to make sure that he had calmed down, maybe gotten himself a pacifier, sippy cup, a diaper... Um, and that he was okay, no longer it, mad about being called names. Okay, that's uh, that's cute, but uh, unless you have anything else, is there anything else I can help you with? Um, yeah, if you can give me a P.O. box, actually, if he doesn't have a sippy cup yet to calm him down, I can get him one. So the next okay, time someone calls him names, I can 